Shazam. Hey, Eileen. Yeah, it's not looking nice out there here. I think it's like minus 8. Feels like minus 13. I think they're calling for 60 kilometer winds. Where are you, Dan? Dan says Costco's empty. Move the keyboard. See, it looks so freaking dark to me. I got everything I'm going to turn on. Our plans got canceled for tomorrow. I'm kind of glad. Yeah, we canceled... Um, my mom was coming over for dinner tonight. I told her to stay home. Um, boyfriend's family is coming over tonight. We told them to stay home. Just not worth it. Just not worth it. Yeah, I got a see what can I do about that oh I don't like that oh, really uh, you see what I can do about some of these lights well that was weird series definitely listening Yeah, there's nothing going on today that I can't wait. I even, my stuff's finally showing up at Walmart. It's like, yeah, I can sit until next week. I don't care. It's only 2K away, but I'm not going to risk going to kill myself for that. Hang on one sec. I'm going to see what happens when I play with my light. Um, oh, definitely bright. See, the cameras are behaving. Let's see. We're going to mess with all the cameras. Since they sort of seem to be behaving. camera 
All right, I still got to fix. I didn't actually, I skipped some steps. <laughs> and when I went to do the wheels, I had actually not finished that engine bay. All right. More or less happy with that lighting. So. That's done. That's done. That's done. That's done. Oh, yeah. See, I'm, I skipped it earlier. Let's take a look here. Should be two of everything left. And maybe one of these is an extra. Okay. Wow, I missed this step way back. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Like, way, way back. Oh, my goodness. Hey, Chris. Shazam. Chris, I invited you to the uh, chat for the live stream. So, you're always welcome. Let's see, one by two. Okay, it wasn't a big deal that I missed that. But... state okay <laughs> I'm just sitting there wondering like so what else did I mess up I mean it's possible I have extras Oh my goodness. I can't believe what I did. I'm looking at it now. I think I skipped putting Yeah. Yeah, it's looking like I don't know. This is tough. I want to rip it apart, but I'm tempted. Can I get this up? I take that off what's going to happen well it looks like I I got to take it apart to look Very nice, very nice. Well, 
we're going to try and see if I can get in. Oh, my goodness. This is not good. Oh, that was not good. I'm going to regret that. Trying to do this surgically so that I can. Ah, oh, see, now I don't even know. Because something there is off. <laughs> uh... Oh, I've messed up huge. I think. This is going to be tough. <laughs> so yeah, see, these two. This sucks. Also, I could do this just because I noticed. <laughs> yeah. uh. No, this this one's sweet. I wish it was black or I don't know another color, but this is going to be brutal. Trying to figure out everything I've just messed up. <laughs> mm. The reversing of this is just like. And now, what's worse, I'm confused. Let's see. See, I don't know if that's right. That was a huge guess. And see, I'm having problems now. Shoot. Oh, yeah.
That don't look right. How much you want to make a bet? This needs to be this way. I just can't tell. So this sucks. This really sucks. Because I can't tell. I mean. See, that looks kind of wrong. Okay, so one, two. gotta be like this what do you think maybe I figured it out Now I'm worried that I've just screwed up another like something is still looking off this. Network on Twitch. Uh, want to join the Build Shit Clan? Oh, no, I'm not going to join any groups or anything. I might jump onto someone's stream once in a while, but... All Bricks Count's not joining any stream group or whatever. It's just not happening. I do what I do when I want to do it, and it's just pretty much the way it is. Appreciate the offer, though. Jesus, this still looks weird. Hopefully, this is right now. Now, if I wanted to get in with a group, I've got my connections already. Three Lego Masters, two that appeared on my 24-hour stream. Lettuce appeared on um, my Brick Summit. So, I don't have a problem making connections in the Lego community, that's for sure. Okay, this is still giving me grief.
Ooh, nice. I think if I figure out these, then we're good. But everyone, I want you to say hi to Chris. I invited him to the uh, stream chat. He's welcome to use those links. But yeah, I won't be joining any clan or group or anything. All right. I think I fixed it. And if that's the only piece I got left over, I am not going to jinx it again. So we're back to nothing in the bay. I did this step last night. Okay, that's it. Just that one piece, and it's not lacking anywhere. Let me just check the top of it again. No, she's good. Okay. Bag eights. Boy, that was 20 minutes to get back to... Or I thought we should have been. Here's my camera. Wake up. Bag eight. Bag eight or bag it. Ah. Ooh, this is getting loud. Hey, hobby. So Chris has got a little channel. Check him out on it. Oh, so last night was my first live stream where my VODs stuck around on Twitch. So we'll see now what kind of effect that would have on keeping people coming back with the Twitch stuff. Because as long as I'm streaming on Twitch, nothing hangs around. So now there's going to be content. So it's not like I'm going to turn this off. I just want to move that away from it. those lights. I don't know how hot those are going to get. Because the original intent was to have all the family over, but oops. Oh, this is a little weird. Rubber bands. And of course, they're not Legos, so they don't put them in a separate ridiculous little cardboard box. Oh, yeah. All right. I was not expecting any rubber bands in this, especially considering there's no suspension. I don't like their their actual down brackets. 
Never liked them from Mega. I mean, they're better than they used to be, but I still don't like them. Oh, okay. The rubber bands are just to replicate the belts of an engine. That's okay. That's not bad. I'm just having a snack. Jump on. Cool, cool. Well, you know where the links are, guys. Awesome. Just let me know in the chat. This way, because right now I don't have the cans on. I won't hear you go Ding when you show up. Better chance me when I look up once a page or twice a page at the chat. Noticing. One by two. It's actually quite warm in here right now. A little bit uncomfortable. I see that's one side. All right. So one by twos, two by, or sorry, one by fours and two by fours slapped together. I'm just building the other side of this engine block now. If I can find them, there we go. Isn't that funny? I wasn't hungry, had some chips because we have all this junk that we we're gonna let people chew on today. So I had some chips, grabbed a drink, and now I'm starving. Like, so I don't normally eat at this time, so it's like that was a mistake. Pumpkin? Yeah. Why any crackers and cheese? Um, I'm okay for now. Thank you. Okay. Chris, I don't quite understand. I can't fake Why? my feed. Pardon? Why? No, I just cut up some cheese and I have crackers. I just thought you'd make look more some. To be clear, I invited you to the chat. There is a join link. StreamYards. You're welcome to jump on. And if I'm available when you stream, I'll jump on one of yours. Which way do I turn this? Is it out? Okay, so it's out. Hey, Mega Dan. Shazam. So the snow's pretty bad out your way, Dan? <laughs> I just looked out my window, and it's like, oh, my God. It's definitely wet, slushy, sloppy stuff. Yeah, it looks like I'm on the engine build. So, yeah, there's two sides of it. It's just blowing for you right now out there. Two, 
three. I need four of these parts. Come on. This is a Where's Waldo puzzle right now. Blowing in powdery. Oh, no powder here. It's wet and slop from what I can see. I asked you yesterday what were your goals. Oh, yeah. Well, I told you. Just I stream my builds, dude. That's why I put on the cameras. Hey, yeah. Well, Dan, you, you know where the links are. You can jump on anytime. Just let me know. And then I'll turn this off. Right now, I'm listening to Oh, You Didn't Know. Road Dog Jesse James. His road stories. Fascinating guy. Tell us. It's a good orator. Good storyteller. It's what I listen to on the way home from work. <clears throat> Since my hearing is so shit, the music isn't. I mean, I can listen to music, but there's a lot I can't hear. But the spoken word, I can hear pretty good. Why are these so hard? Here we go. Two more, one more. Yeah. Love the earbuds. You know, just like other Apple Tech, it just works. Just works. <clears throat> Cranberry ginger ale. Oh, yeah, looking at Jason's build in the chat there. Now he is creative. You know, my wife was asking me uh, the other day about the Lego Masters thing. I said, well, I got the invite before because, you know, when it came up in one of our groups, either the BrickLink group or the other group, and I just figured it was scam, you know, because I get stuff like that all the time. The thing is, it's just the producer sending out mass invites to a bunch of people. And in the end, it's like, even the worst of those guys on Lego Masters is so much more talented and creative. I just like, I wouldn't want to waste my time. You got to give up, you know, six or eight weeks of your life, you know, down in LA. And it's like, eh. and then, you know, as soon as they dug any deeper, um, and they see that I'm not a Lego purist, like it would have been over. It goes to show you that the producers don't know what they're doing. But it produces assistance, whoever is doing the uh, recruiting. Because they don't have to look very hard <laughs> at my content to see what I think about Lego. You know, there's more to the world than, I mean, clearly, look, I'm building it now, right? But I encourage anyone who is in that chat, hey, take that opportunity if you're if you're open to it. Why not? Where are the plates with just there we go? Just one. One stud on the side.
Now, for some people, like lettuce, it really works out good because um, lettuce is going to Belund. He's packing up, and uh, I guess as soon as possible, um, by February, he should be in Belund as a new product uh, producer. So that's going to be amazing for him. And he didn't even win the show. So good on him. I mean, it's what I mean. It's what he's always wanted. It's what I think anyone who goes on that show wants to be a builder and have their sets made by other people who influence future generations. And that's cool. I just like to tinker with the bricks. I don't, I'll never put myself in any category that's even close to adjacent to what some of those guys are doing. Uh, try another day. I'm, you're very cryptic, Chris. I'm not, I'm not getting, <laughs> you're a very cryptic fellow. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Well, no, damn, when you see some of what those guys do, and that show's edited down, you know, where they'll do those long extended builds and then you're seeing it like with the artificial time frames put on it. But just the creativeness. I'll never have that. What you got to do is take a look at, I think, Moto's, Moto's Instagram, where he shows off some of the stuff he's built over the years, some of the stuff he'll take to the shows. That stuff's just next level. Mm -hmm. Next level. Hmm. Two by three. I got to pay more attention this time. Well, yeah, they just straight up, have, I mean, in every way, their talent level, just something else. Oh, wow, an open cylinder end to end. But, you know, from the, you know, 500 or so, they're going to recruit, you know, to get down to 12 or whatever for the shows. That's... And they're going to do that in very short order. But I haven't seen anyone go on that show that even has a whiff of venturing outside of Lego. Like, that's just not true. That's not true. I don't want to get any of them in trouble. You know, having known Boone for a while and Moto for a while and Moto through, where did we meet? Through Brick Hive's show. But a more genuine person you'll never meet. Moto's the man. Because we'd only met once, maybe twice on stream when I invited him. Don't do that. Oh, dude, it's a co-promotion with Lego. Like, they supply all the bricks. And, I mean, I can't remember which production company's behind it. But trust me, Lego is, they're entrenched. And the North American shows, like, just the third or fourth show, like the UK and other... And, Australia, like, there's been plenty of shows 
the North American one is just the, uh, you know, the newest version of it. It's, and it's not the best. It's just not. Yeah, they got Will Arnett, but that's not, uh, you know, when you get a B and C level actor, that's not uh, anything to write home about. All right. Now more wash, rinse, repeat. Another up one. Yep. I tell you, though, all the little aches and pains I get, even in the tip of my finger, I noticed that yesterday, the Right in the tip of that finger, just the pushing. So I got that. Oh, I got a splinter. No, I don't have splinter. Just pain with the nerves and stuff, you know. Okay, we're going to do this again. Ah, come on. I love these little mini grills. They definitely have a lot of nice grebling parts in Mega. If I was mocking just for me, I wouldn't mind mixing them together, but I really don't want to because the idea of having to separate them at some point, not fun. Here's the engine block from the looks of it. Let's see. The turbine. Got red peg. Uh, this piece, and is there a gear? So, the red peg and the gear, and the silver part. And this studs in there, okay. Don't know if I think that's so cool, but... At what point? Okay, so at that height. Oi, boy. So we got cylinders and tubes. And these gray pieces. Oh, well, that's one. I'm going to need, what, eight? Tell you, I sneeze, and I could be in for a world of hurt. Straight enough. Straight enough. I figure I've only got about 10 more minutes. This thing's pretty much done. Excuse me. I 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, must be one more. Okay, here we go. And I need one more of those pigs. Okay, so eight. Really? Okay. She's upset because she found her mother with somebody else. And her dad doesn't know about it. But like a guy. If these are going to remain exposed, I might twist all these. Actually, it's bloody well impossible to twist them all. Maybe. snap in. All right. That's not bad. They look more consistent now. Two more wheels. Okay, so these timing belts. No. Ooh, nice. I didn't, see, I didn't hear you. Yes or no? These are things that I'll take off very shortly after the finished build, like after I do my photography. Oh, I heard the beat. Shazam. Let's move you up. There you go. Hey. How you doing? What's going on? Well, just finishing this up. Yeah. I heard you got 10 minutes. It's left. So yeah. Oh, the engine's looking good. Yeah, there's not. And, that a lot. Gets, and that's gonna get covered. Build for the car stand, so there's not a lot left. And you got the uh, side pipe still to build. Oh, that looks yeah, good. yeah, that won't take long. Well, let me turn your volume down a little bit here. Hold on a sec. Did you say you were drinking uh, a special ginger ale there earlier? Oh, well, it's just ras uh, raspberry, cranberry ginger ale. I got the uh, blackberry. One Ooh. Oh, blackberry ginger ale in a bottle. We haven't seen these in a while. It's weird because it's purplish, but on the camera it's not picking it up. But it's like a light kind of. Oh, that's neat. Now we just got a big plastic bottle of whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does the the cranberry is the seasonal the seasonal treat. Yeah, we don't have eggnog though. I asked, hey, where's the eggnog? And he's like, nope. Is that a is that a staple in your house for Christmas? Uh, it, well, you know, I like it. But uh, not everyone does. Uh, I tried to get this to show you behind me the outside, but it's nothing but white. <laughs> it's, it's all just, yeah, it's just it's white, white out. It literally, it's literally like white. <laughs> so they show up a little bit. Nope, can't see shit. <laughs> so, no. Oh, too funny. That's just coming down now. It's just going to be slow, a slow fall for the next two days. You guys are getting wet stuff there in Toronto. Oh, it's all wet, heavy, slushy. Yeah, and that's the big problem. So if it, you know, if it freezes in place. That's just <laughs> well, it's. It's already negative twelve Nightmare. in our area. Yeah, I know. the The thing is, though, with uh, this morning, it was still raining at six a.m. in our area, and then it just dropped. Like now, it's going to negative fourteen. Oh wow! Actual temperature or the wind? Yeah, actual wind chill is oh. negative twenty seven. Wow! Right now, yeah, because oh. the winds, the winds for us right here sideways. It was a little nutty today, but it kept everybody out of the out of the way to run errands and stuff. So it's good. So what's left here? You got the engine parts. You got the. Do you actually have some bands that are going across those? Yeah, there's two, um, two rubber bands. Belts. Yeah. No way. Oh, this is looking good. It would be nice if that was all chromed, but. Could you imagine if that actually moved? If that had some pistons and stuff? Whoa. Yeah. And that's definitely kind of, you know, one of the differences with some versus some of the Lego stuff, like. Well, I mean, Technic would be your number one for that, well, where they yeah. have everything moving. But even some creator builds, they'll do a little bit of movement. But this looks good. I, I see a couple. Uh, what, is that a box in the back, other than the gas tank? The little box? Uh, yeah, or is so it you, built? Well, you've got the nitrous tank. You've got some sort of toolbox here. And it actually opens. Nice. Yeah. So is it is it all bricks that builds that? 
Virtually, yeah. It's yeah. that tell you thing is solid. Bricks and plates, bricks and plates. Nice. So they didn't give you a prefab box. That's an actual brick box made up. Yeah, I mean the only sh real shaped things are the um, the headlamps. Yeah. Um, it's a molded piece, and uh, which is good because it would look really weird. And yeah. then the skull. And then the skull, yeah. And then even the shifter head. Oh, the shifter head has a design. Yeah. Well, it's a. Let's see if I, can I pop didn't this see it. Off. It's a skull. I wish they would have made an easy pop handle, but they did not, of course. Actually, if I open the door, it should it should only be one stud sticking. It is on just it one stud, but you can't yeah. grab it from the outside. Oh, you you got no handle. I gotcha to keep the aesthetic. So let's, let's see. take a look. No way. No skulls. That's the skull. That that skull's been around since pirates. Oh really? Uh, yeah, that skull that's is ridiculous like... though, because the height of that shifter would put it up here. Yeah, yeah, as yeah, if yeah. It, Like for <laughs> ape, ape hanger motorcycle bars, like yeah, yeah, yeah. That keep. kind of ridiculousness, but um, that is awesome. Yeah, yeah, so it's I love it when they use these parts that have been around for twenty years. You know. Like, oh no, like, that's the best. You know. I love how they're old using parts. It. Why not? You got the molds. Yeah. yeah. So you they acquire still the make... company, you got the molds sitting there in the archive, like use them. I'm telling you, Rick, if these guys opened up their warehouse of parts that people could pick a brick style, oh, the things that people would make with these things. Well, so they implied that when they talked to um, like Rick lately? Man 117. Yeah. Well, this was last year. Okay. Because they sent him for his huge Pelican build. Because he built... Oh, the, the bulk brick boxes. Yeah. Yeah. They sent him about three grand in parts. No way. Oh, yeah. Uh, eight different skews of parts. To build eight, the Pelican, eh? To go at the Pelican with, yeah. And um, he built a monster Pelican. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I've seen yeah. it's like two-handed things. Bigger He's like the number one building. mock builder with Mega on YouTube, as far as I'm concerned. So I don't see anyone doing massive mocks. They'll do no. little battle yeah. scenes with halo stuff or whatever but no one is building like he's yeah building. on on their own website they have those like the community builds where people yeah. do like little stuff but it's nothing like no you know, it's big, small big stuff like they don't maybe do small stuff. animations and that's cool too but yeah nothing like brick man one two three four so these five, pipes are six, going seven, down eh? yeah. yeah they're i can see them being a pain because I also have to figure out their orientation. Well, once the engine's in, you can just go from the side and slide them in, no? Now this, why do I have that plate? And then you have a cover, a red cover for all that too. That'll be in your next bag. If I miss putting that plate, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> four by four? That, yeah. that almost looks like it's going to be something to, for the little car to hold sit up on it seems very really odd for it to be left over oh okay, elevation of some sort let me see under the engine yeah i might have missed one let's see yeah not so bad make it taller because yeah. there's that level one two and then the yep okay well if it had to happen, this is where it should happen, where I can easily fix it. Did you see where I had to take apart the front end? No, what happened? Well, I found two two by three plates. And I go, there's just no way these are extra. And I went back, I went back, I went back. And I'm looking at the instructions. Yeah. I go, okay, I'm looking, I see a slight gap and I still couldn't tell. But I had to investigate and sure enough, like, yeah, there's space there for those plates. It's like, damn. I still remember the exact My first story. 20 minutes of this stream. Oh, was it really? Oh, yeah. The old, the old sets like the Call of Duty with the marbled brick and the different shades of gray and brown. Like, they, all of them were like that. You could easily miss you know, a, a, a layer just because of the shade, that, yeah. the color shade. And you're like, oh, man. The best is when you build something and you go back and you're like, look and you're like, why is that one brick different than all the rest? And then you're like, oh, it was the wrong shade. The best is when you build something, you go back and you're like looking at it. Why is that one? Oh, thing? you'll have to adjust your audio. Oh, you got the uh, you can hear now. Otherwise, it'll. We're hearing us come back through on your end too. Oh, what about that? There you go. Yeah, you're just getting the echo. 
the delay or whatever it is. <laughs> I forgot to mute the phone. There you go. It's good now. Yeah. So what's happening? Ooh, get back on. Have that you guys seen? So cool. Isn't it looking good? It's that's such a good car. Imagine yeah. having that one in black. Oh, oh don't yeah. say that. No, <laughs> I mean, try and find all those bricks in black, though. That's going to be near impossible. You think? All those different plates and everything. Ah. Well, the plates would be easy. I'm just thinking these angle cut bricks because if you uh, if these you are mix, huge bricks. if you mix breed your bricks, I don't think you'd have a problem, Rick. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, of course you could do that. Yeah. Easy, you could find them. Is there no unique? Is there? There's no unique plate other than the painted ones, right? Um, plates, no. Um, are things generic? Actually, there's a two by two rounded corner round plate that's used yeah. a bunch of times um there's nothing in this build though that you couldn't work around pretty easily and get a very reasonable facsimile of this build being that it is plates and bricks like 90 percent, so that's pretty good but that's helps. what's what's funny is that we always complain about how easy some bricks come apart this thing you know is not coming apart <laughs> no i mean even with the separator it's like damn man those things yeah. clutch good otherwise you drop this thing yeah you know, i didn't there's down. no cheating on this everything did not really need my help in staying together yeah i'm not complaining about one stud connection it's like oh no it's not staying together like no it's staying together Rick, did it have the fake suspension in this one? The look, the look yeah, they well, they've done um, the little uh, circle bricks or the round well, one. This is what they did here. Yeah, that one. Yeah, kind of the Halo Warthog yeah, yeah. stuff they did in most of the early ones. Oh, yeah. nice. The fake suspension. Yeah, that's okay. And is that the muffler on the back end? What's that little piece sticking? Uh, in it? just more weird suspension kind of stuff. Yeah, no, it wouldn't be the muffler. Cross member. Headers coming awesome. off the yeah uh, yeah because we got all this we got oh all yeah 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 Duh. you got the ones on top yeah side ones so that's all like cross member back now I just got to figure out whoops this and the there you go there's your one week connection single stud connection <laughs> that flywheel eh? they typically yeah. are yeah but when that goes in I need to get the angle of these pipes right. That is the OCD part of this build. Like, it's just like, no. It's that never, reminds me. No matter how much yeah. I, I play with it, it's yeah. not going to look right. So is the engine correct for that vehicle, knowing your favorite car? It's as good as I would want it to be. I mean, based on the Hot Wheels car. And that's the thing. Like, this is very exaggerated, these pipes. And oh, no matter yeah. what, these pipes are not going to look like the Hot Wheels car. At least I got the right number four on each side. Whoops. Parts parts taken off there. Is that going to be yeah, one of the little ones you're going to open for the Hot Wheels Day? Oh, well, this will op I'll open today. Oh, yeah? Okay. I'll take a picture of it first, and then I'll open it. But the idea was do this build, get this car done, and then whenever – I think it'll be New Year's Day. And um, I'll open them all. I'd love those. to see all your bone shakers all in a row. Yeah. You should get uh, – somebody had mentioned before the Hot Wheels I think track. I'm 20 or 30. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm not putting them on a track so I can <laughs> knock all the paint off and have little chips on all of them. No way. Mm. When I bought the uh, 12 Lucy's, yeah. I wasn't going to buy any loose, but it's like I couldn't pass up a deal to get them at a buck a shot or whatever it was. And, like, they were in really, really awesome condition. It's like, nah, okay. And that camera is just, it's, oh, yeah. And look, even StreamYard is just telling me it's having issues. Yay. Okay. Here's a, here's my favorite new thing from Hot Wheels. Let's see. Crushed car? Hang on. Demolition. Oh, yeah, for the Bigfoot, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. Nice. <laughs> this one's called Blindside. Nice. Yeah, I saw these are with the monster truck sets. Okay, I, I was going to say, I you didn't those. buy that separately, right? Um, no, I gave the monster truck to uh, my my uh, godson, but I was like, I, I wasn't going to show him this one. <laughs> but it comes, it, yeah, it comes is all... Is that diecast? Is it, is it actual yeah. diecast? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. somebody had the pleasure of smashing these things at the factory? <laughs> they actually, they, it looks like they smashed one and then molded it because oh. there's no... 
there's no like space in between the windows. It's kind of like oh, it's molded metal. that way. Gotcha. Yeah, it kind of looks like if you look real right into the windows, it just looks like a chunk of metal, 3D printed. It, it uh, makes sense. Yeah, because otherwise they'd have like cracked paint and you know. Well, they do. The edge. They did um, protrude the doors a little bit, you know, and they gave the definition on the door. Uh, the door seals more dominant. So it looks like it, they kind of puffed out a tiny bit. But could you could you imagine if Hot Wheels just said, okay, you know what? We're going to give everybody a smash truck or a squish truck. And they're running brand new cars through a, a press. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, a, like, you know, you'd have two rollers like the do the metal. Just squish, squish. <laughs> That'd be the most funniest thing ever. Like, I can only imagine the designers going, like, why are we designing this? Why don't we just run it through a press? They should do that with all the failed ones that come off yeah. the line. Like, oh yeah, that's right. They got all those uh, seconds. There's gotta right? be does. There's gotta be right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what it was right there, Rick. It was a machine jam. <laughs> that could have been. They yeah. were like, oh, oh, we effed up. What are we gonna do? We with got these? fifty thousand of these cars. What are we gonna do with them? What are we gonna do with the warehouse full of these? Some, oh, some guy idea. takes a break. <laughs> Paint them up. I got an idea. Yeah. How, how would they manufacture all these little die cast cars when they paint them? Is it all like um, stamped? Like it'd roll through, they'd stamp it and then it keeps going. Well, that crush the car colors. is just one color. So that's just a spray application. The spray. So, so when they have the uh, the designs, that's all well, going to be. Uh, what well, do you call if you it? got any details, that'd be pad printing. Pad print, printing. That's boom, it. Boom, yeah, yeah. Boom. Yeah, yeah. 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 So as they go through, they're just. Because they'll smashed. do the same way Lego does it. Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah, I'm not sure if Hot Wheels does like the, what do you call it, that foam printing process, or if they do like a, that, a machine that squishy print it. Yeah. Yeah, that squishy thing. I don't know. Yeah. Or, or if they Balloon. just have a, like a, a sprayer or like a computer printer. But because the only way, way to get, it, yeah, the only way to get oh, those really man. defined prints would be that, right? Yeah, like to, to have it, like th that line is, that's thinner than a ruler, that line that yeah. highlights the Hot Wheels emblem. And like some of the spackles that they put on there, you know, that's real like. Because even on even all the mini figs and all these other guys, I wonder how they got those. Because there's nobody doing it by hand. There's no way somebody's well, doing all the for, eyes and stuff. Like for that. Lego, I'm pretty sure they use like one of those printing a certain printing machine, nice thin, same as yeah. Hot Wheels, a nice thin layer. But I do know some off-brand people they use printing and it's 3D printing onto the mini figures that are Lego, which is kind of nice actually, like that. Textured, it gives it texture on, yeah. on an yeah. army figure or something like that is really nice or star wars even so it'd be like raised right the, the yeah. color would be raised mm -hmm. yeah well it's great when you have you know designs for the belts and other gear and yeah. you could feel it and see it it's really it's it you're, is. you're figuring out the angle there rick well yeah i i put them on <laughs> it's like oops, i turn them all the wrong way to start like, and I, oh yeah, I'm doing it the right way, and I fit one. Like, no, that's wrong. <laughs> is this this is the problem. This is the part that's going to frustrate everyone. There we go. That's better. So, what part is actually curved? The horn or the stud? Well, you get a macaroni piece. The horn is straight, but it's yeah. it's got a 45 degree cut. But you got a little macaroni that's, I guess, it bends to a 45. Yeah, yeah it comes to a 45. <laughs> So that's the piece that you have to make sure it's straight. Well, I'm keeping that straight, yeah. and then I'm turning the horn. And the long piece like, down. Yeah, oh, the longer it's side. It's horrible. <laughs> it's a... So from the picture I'm looking at, okay, on your box there, I'm going to say, which, wait, can how do they even attach to make it the horn open like that? So the one piece is the horn, right? And then oh, you've okay. got the curve. You got Elbow the down, and then... Yeah. Yeah, and straight flip yeah. out. Okay, yeah, so I would go in. So is it three pieces, Rick? The little yeah. stud, yeah. the little the pin, curve, little yeah. pin, macaroni, and the horn, and curve, and then yeah, the macaroni. You call it. Yeah. And now you just have to finesse them all into the right direction, orientation. Yeah, yeah, and then spend the rest of your life trying to get to where you want <laughs> to go. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's probably did the directions tell you to do that, or you just did it ahead of? Well, oh, no, yeah, it's, it right there. You know, I wanted so it's to right look there. a certain way. What is it? Yeah, step it shows two there. seven eight right there i can yeah. see it so it's yeah little stud then your macaroni piece and then your horn and it should be That's in this cool. i love that eyeballing it right now 
this, does this the doesn't engine, work. I'll have to make a jig just to get does them the all engine straight. actually function at all, or is those no, we, oh, we, no. we, we, it's just all the those two elastics you could probably move, right, Rick? Well, the wheel the I mean, oh. technically you could, oh. but on the exterior. Like, eh. Okay, so strap an elastic from one two, to the center, two different then, wheels. Uh, yeah, and, and that's yeah. the thing, they don't give you another rubber band unless it's in the next bag, but you could absolutely put another band against the big wheel. I don't know. Technically, that big will be your fin, right? It should did be it have fan. a fin. It Does should, it have a fan yet? Should yeah. have, but it won't. It'll just be that. Yeah. Hmm. It's still, still pretty good. Well, and then all of that's going to sit behind this wall, so it's not even terribly visible. It's like I yeah. know it's there. And you still have to build the hood, right? The uh, hood and the head, mm -hmm. the face. Yeah, there's a few pieces. Oh, I guess yeah. Hood. Oh yeah, that one does have a hood. Okay. In the next bag. I'm surprised they didn't throw some chrome pieces in there. I guess they don't do chrome anymore. That'd be too pricey, I guess. Because imagine if those things were all chromed, right? Well, no, that's the that's where I think I'm gonna do something to modify it. You could you but could get it, a chrome. It just begs to be chrome. Yeah, like you could get a chrome pen. The Gundam. I don't know. There, there's a name. Yeah, for it. Tamiya Paints has a chrome, they have chrome pen. Too? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, there's. I, I, that I, would probably be the easiest way. The thing is, you have to try it on this plastic, so you got to sacrifice something. I've I done. Would just take, I would yeah. just take one of these. It's the same plastic. See what it comes out like when it dries. I've um, done it to the Terminator figures that they had, the theme, the T800s. I did a chrome version of one of those, like brand new off the assembly line. And oh yeah? it's stuck. Nice. And the, oh yeah, you got the mod rod. Yeah, what are your what does yours have for rims? Just black, eh? You need to find some discs to, Ooh, to throw in there, Rick. Right. Oh, oh man! I don't know if you. I don't know if you got could... a sticker you can put on the tire for printing. Yeah, <laughs> well, I could definitely do something. Well, and then I, that... I like the skull that... on the front of that, but it would look so much nicer with a grill. But you know what, though, the next oh no no, it's the, the skull. skull. The skull is what I dig. Yeah, the fact but, that it's yeah. a skull and not a grill. Uh, Rick, did you oh, did you get I the like new those. car yet? Did you get the other car? I got. Oops, oh, check this out. Three a.m. Yeah, I got my first notice. Blah blah blah. Walmart called me at eleven. I can come pick it up whenever. Nice. I want. So it's there waiting for you. And the I will pick thing? it up after. Yeah. yeah, both are there. Nice. I'll, nice. I'll pick up everything after the twenty six. So the other the other car that's coming is unless that it's one. Really, that unless it's really good tomorrow. What this one? Yeah. It's gonna look like that one. What color do you know? Uh hold uh, on, let me see. Is it gray? I, think it's I don't know. Bluish bluish gray, something is like it bluish that. Bluish gray. Oh, yeah, hold on. Let me see. It's pretty sad when I'm just ordering it sight unseen, like just because I'm really in love with this stuff right now. What kind of intake does yours have? Mine's got the the three air filters. Uh Oh, it's a different. It's a different version of that car, the Mod Rod. Oh, dang, eh? That's but I'll show bad. you here. Oh, all right, hey, Rick. Put up oh, on this. Oh wow! Yeah, 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 yeah. So they did the sideways pipes. The only, it's got more of a contour. The only thing I hate is like those. These two cars are too similar to each other. Yeah, Which one? I agree. And I that one Mod Rod and this one, and I just wish they would. You think so? uh, the build is very, it's very different. Because if you look at the roof, it's uh, rounded. Yeah. The engine's only... I, I think height. they look too similar. I think there's enough Hot Wheel stuff designed by Larry Woods. Yeah. Larry Wood that they could have... And then the front is all enclosed, so you don't see, like, the one that you got. Like that. But for me, this is always going to be, like, the car. That's a true bone shaker, yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. Can you come the back? I wish I could pop the roof off this. You probably can't see in there, but inside there you can see that little chrome shifter goes all the way up to the ceiling is it just a ball or what's at the end it's a skull it's skull a little too? teeny tiny skull and it goes all the way up to like the ceiling of the of the mod ride so i guess i guess rick yours is okay then i managed to get the angle that nice. i wanted nice so that looks good. not nearly as hard as i thought it would be that's great those definitely deserve to get chromed yeah yeah yep Oh, but so yeah, you're right. There is a tester paint. They do a silver and a chrome and a gold that are really nice. So would you recommend the tester over the Tamiya Bandai stuff? Mm. 
Yes. For that, for that surface of uh, Lego, and you're probably going to want to get a really light sand. Wait, just to rough it up a little bit to grab. Just a, so just a sand light paint, and then do I need to sand in gloss, do you think? You might not have to gloss it because you're not really playing with it. No, I won't be it, handling it. But if you sand the surface of the of the plastic first, then then at least it won't scratch off it. You know what I mean? So a hand sand. What do you what brick do you recommend? I don't know something as fine as you can find. Just needs to be. You could even use like a an SOS pad. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah, an SOS pad, eh? Okay. Yeah. I've used that, that, that to actually good. remove uh, prints. Boy, does it scar up the mm -hmm. surface. Good yeah, well. yeah, that's all you need to do is take the polish off the brick to paint it. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Is that a Gerber? A what? That knife. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> one of these days, Rick, one of these days. There's yeah, the Gerber. Thing. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know, I know. Some no, things. it's... it's you know, it's got actually it's got a little clip in it. I I've always debated. I thought I would take the clip off it, but it's just solid. Like, I've I've owned three of those. I gave two of them away, and I've yet to break a clip on any of them. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, I just don't like buddy, the clip. I had no use for the clip. My but, one buddy, um, he uh, he uses his like throwing it all the time, and he's broken like the tiniest piece off the tip. But other really? than that, it's lasted. Oh, this thing is so sharp. Mm hmm. Like, you never have to don't. sharpen that, do you? Oh no, I mean I shave in the woods with this if you want. I mean, <laughs> yep. Yeah. No, it's but I also never I mean st a little bit of tape, a little bit of stickers, mostly cardboard. Yeah, clean it off once in a while, right? I'll I should. I haven't yet. I really should though. But you know what? Like it's held up really nicely. Steal some of the wife's nail polish remover, it'll come right clean with a single wipe. Ooh. One yeah, single acetone one. would do it. Yeah, it would melt that right off. Yep. See, that skull definitely needs to be chromed. That does not look right. That gray plastic. Yeah, it's like, especially when you see it on, on the box. Like, mm -hmm. oh, guys. Yeah, but your little icon at the bottom corner there shows it exactly how you have it. As yeah, you have it. well, no, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. it, it, and yeah. the website, like, it's the box art, but it, all the other photography is dead on. Yeah, yeah. So what do you got left now? Just the hood? Yeah, pretty much. What's that? I wonder what that black one's going to be for. For the big black. That must be for the uh, stand for the little guy? Yep. Well, that's what all this yeah. hideous orange is for, to replicate those little track pieces. But I know people who are dying for these now because they want to make a lot of... Oh, really? Uh, yeah, and I don't know why. Like, that yeah. hauler that hauler vehicle set, that, would, that might have a lot of those parts. You think? I think. Yeah, let me double check. Hold on a second. So, Rick, you were saying the one time about adding a second camera. All I have to do is open up a second tab. Yeah. So, literally, if you um, where, if, if you're coding. on a laptop and you've got one built in, or you've got two USBs or five USBs, whatever. So, yeah. I mean, the easiest way you can do it is if you you got your one tab open that's your one camera right well you go up to your browser window there and and where you've got streamyard.com slash your gibberish for your link you drag that up and make that a whole new tab and then you'll go through the process of setting up that second camera oh wow it, yeah so oh. yeah yeah that's, that's how I've done it from day one. I didn't. I still don't have a clue if that's how other people do it. And I'm I'm now, Streamyard has a built-in function where, so for you, I, 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 well, when you're running a stream, I assume it works the same if for you when you're as a guest on mine. But um, there is a second camera option where I can go um, present. Is it present? Okay, and then I have options of slide, okay, yeah. extra camera, or video file. Well, extra camera will just add a second camera, but to the same single tab. So you don't have to have, because you know in Chrome or most browsers, mm -hmm. every tab you open will slow your computer down. Well, potentially this won't slow you down so much. Oh, look at that. So I'm I'm a guest, but when I go down to present, it'll say, it says slides, video, file, and then share screen. I've done the share screen. What are, what are slides? 
Um, so you can use like PowerPoint and other software to produce slides ahead of time instead of using your like audio. Thing? Well, it, see, like right now, I can go, let's see, brand, and I could just do I have anything ready? Let's but see. like, for say, if like, I could do know, this, I, I could put this on the screen, right? Oh, and I, that's actually a PNG file. So that's why you see the transparency around it. Um, oh. But instead of doing that, which is ghetto, I'm just using the overlay function. And now I got it. Damn. There we go. <clears throat> you notice how I got rid of all my other graphics to do that because I literally cheated that in there. Because that's oh, the thing. They, they, they didn't tell you to do that. I just figured, hey, that's a way I could present graphics while I'm live, right? Is that um, a printed plate you have in your hand there? Yeah, yeah. That's let's oh, see. Come that's on, sharp. camera. There we go. That's sharp. Yeah, yeah. And with credit to Larry Woods, so I'm happy. About oh, that. and another thing I wanted to mention real quick before I totally forget again. Um, one time when you were streaming, I was in comments there. I mentioned about your your background art that you do with that chest with that chessboard, and then you put up a picture of just like the box art that you did with the color change. No, no, no. Take a picture of the actual brick. I'm not following. And do your magic. You know the brick plate that you built for that chessboard. Oh, okay. So get a picture of that going, yeah. like a perfect picture, because you're a great photographer. I, I try to get a picture of the actual bricks and yeah. then do some magic with that. You can tilt it and warp it and do all sorts of things once you get it into an editor. Yeah, I could. I think there's um, some total magic to be had behind that checkerboard thing. You can make it into a race thing for your for your speed champions. Like well, you know that so you know that brick pattern that's behind us right now on the stream. All those that's your original one that you've been messing with from uh well yeah colored one it was colors it was all let's start from the um the puzzle set the puzzle yeah 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 i love it so i took that and i used that for a long time and i would just do color shifting with that Mm -hmm. that after a while i got bored of that then it was like okay let's get rid of the color and just have all the lego dots and i use that as an overlay on anything and now you have with um colored uh uh shadows i see well well it's not shadows what it is is it's so like this stream here it's mm-hmm. the box art for the bone shaker i focused on the car zoomed in really close so i basically got the skull to maybe the cabin and then i oh, blurred it no about four, so four, the five. yellow the yellow is the light the skull yeah, is the yeah, 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 and yeah, the red yeah. is the top of the engine yeah yep. you can cool. see that and uh what's that there's a name for that like opeg like a mosaic well that was gauze i use gaussian blur gaussian blur mm-hmm. literally uh, you know you got 3d blur you got a bunch of them i use gaussian blur because that one just it's the easiest and i just run the slider until i get it to where i want this way it's not sharp because if i just use a sharp image it's ah I, I yeah. don't want, you know, I, I want us to be the focus and not that background thing, but I want every mm-hmm. background to be different and unique. I hate looking at streams. Whether the, you know, I don't, it doesn't mean people got to pay for stream yards or anything, but I hate seeing all that, that black or the duck or whatever. And it's like, they oh, have, man. they have an option that you can choose and it's like these blue squares or something. And that's better than black. Okay. They could at least click that. Yeah. I but, like to uh, see them add more tiers to, to encourage some of these guys to pay. Um, I definitely encourage you to do some uh, pictures of that chessboard and make it part of your – because you're doing the Speed Champions full steam soon, I thought. So I yeah, yeah, I'll great. do the Speed Champs next. That would be great for like a, a checkered raceway finish line type deal. You could do whatever, and, and those oh, bricks are just so – And I'm just going to take in the, whatever the button. oldest like number is, the lowest number. Nine, Ooh. but that chessboard, yeah, the 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 plates on that chessboard just looks so cool. The textures and stuff, I love it. I could care I, less about the, the pieces that are Star Wars, but that chessboard that looks so cool. Yeah, the chessboard is the we figured it out. It's this supposed to be the outside of the Death Star, right? The metal. Yeah, it's it's oh. the texture of that'll blow your mind, eh? You're just like, wait a minute, it's the outside because it has all the little texture. That's what why with all the Star Wars sets I have, thing. you think I could pull one down? Because I'll tell you what I do like. It's not that I like the chessboard uh, texture. I like what's running across the bottom of the Star Wars sets because they like have the platforms, the plates the, that hold the stage with the gray texture. 
You mean the Lego boxes? Yeah, the Lego boxes, the bottom. And they it did it for to... about a year. I just don't have one handy that's got it. You got Star Wars behind your uh, bone shaker. Star Wars there. everywhere, but not... Um, Any of those guys? Not the... No, no. You know you got too much where you're like, wait a minute, where's my stuff? <laughs> well, the problem is I moved so much of the Star Wars stuff up. Yeah. I wanted to get focused to so much other stuff. But oh well. Okay. So what were you saying about texture though? Well, the um so the there's a gray bar at the bottom of the Star Wars boxes, and it's all gray bricks, gray tiles, greebling, and it just looks amazing. Oh shit. You got one handy? No, but I know yeah, yeah. exactly. There you go. Yeah, there you I go. Would. That's it. Yep. I would okay. love that, but like a whole wallpaper of it. Okay, that's what I'm trying to get you to do with the checkerboard. But I don't think it's going to look good because it's only eight studs wide and only, a, you know, I don't know. But you want it as a finish line or you want it as a background? I think uh, anything. I think Rick could do it. He's awesome. Uh, can you read an image, Rick? I could mess with an alternating image. It wouldn't be, it yeah. wouldn't be hard for him to mess with. He did, he did the box and then he changed the color on it and it looks good. So when I oh, saw yeah. that, my brain goes, oh, if you took pictures of that board, like yourself took pictures and then did some farting around with it. You probably find something cool. Well, I did. Let's see. Did you, what did you do with, with that brick? Word. That brick puzzle box. That was amazing. Like people don't think of that easy peasy. You just changed. Okay, when I did this, around with you. He okay, messed around I, with well, you until he found every combination. Watch so that's your, that's your. Kissing it to the. I mean, it's okay. You but, oh, yeah. Uh, the detail. You'd have to get rid of the. Um, but you the, see all the little colors in the ships and stuff like. Eh, it's not my favorite, but it, you know, again, it, it made my stuff unique, so I was happy with that. Yeah, but. definitely. I I have to admit that you have. Rick, really try fun try this when you get a chance. Do just the black and white checkered part. But like no uh, no change no uh, alteration just straight up the black and white field like the that's the exterior and see how that looks but not yeah, now yeah, not another because then he what? you're gonna get the details like the lego box where you get the little studs missing and the, the little designs the circles and all sure. the little uh, things try that that i think that would look decent for fun yeah it, it probably look okay see the everything i do though like when i did the live stream showing how i do it that was 40 50 minutes of me showing you guys mm -hmm. but i all of that in about five minutes. All of those pictures. Of boop, 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 boop. So it's right off the bat, eh? Yeah, well, because I have a workflow now. Yeah. It, it's so easy. It, it take Sometimes it could take me a little bit longer with the Chinese sets if I'm looking for good photography that's not mine. Um, and I used to use just my photography, but it's like, ah, screw it. <laughs> I'll lift it and I'll edit it enough and no one's ever going to come after me. I'm not too worried mm -hmm. about it. I mean, I'm not destroying their intellectual property, or I'm definitely not making any money off it. That's for sure. So, so I got my uh, my furry buttons here to show you. That's <laughs> <laughs> furry. Say it right. <laughs> oh so, what's the God. material that? What oh, is it before I do, before I do, what's my shirt say? Uh, all right, yippee ki -yay. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> That's cool. Merry Christmas, yippee ki or something like is that. Is it a print? Oh, yeah. That is so cool. Awesome. Probably got it at like Walmart or AliExpress. Who knows? I was about to say, what's what's the rest of the saying is on the back? <laughs> uh, nothing. Nothing. Oh, nothing. Too bad. Too bad. What wasn't Walmart then? No, nope. There's so many like t-shirt companies on Instagram and then <laughs> I keep looking at these ads the last few days. But they're all like thirty, forty dollars US. These a shirts, -shirt. license, yeah. though, right? Or is uh, it well, nothing? allegedly, allegedly. Yeah. But like you know, eighties tees and vintage tees and a bunch of these companies. Oh, people are just milking them. Like most crazy. amazing prints and stuff that appeals to me. But I am not spending that much. Oh, free shipping even to Canada, hundred ten bucks. Right. Okay, I'm willing to spend that, but not at. 45 bucks for a t-shirt is that why they're offering free shipping because they're including well, the price? I mean, yeah 
15 bucks shipping just for the shirt probably but that's just it's too bad because they got wicked designs and a lot of mashups yeah um crossover stuff crossover weird crossover stuff oh the keyboard lights up look at this thing go yeah so that's what gave me the idea to do it was because this one permanently lights up and i have like a little i have a handkerchief (laughs) that i just throw over it so dust doesn't get in it I thought this would be a great idea because it stops the dust from getting between the keys. It could, but how did you glue it on? What's the... I popped the keys off gently like yeah. you should. Yeah. And then I used a uh, a Tamiya paint, to be honest. Whoa, okay. It was a, a radiant green, which has glow-in-the-dark paint in it, which is also like probably very toxic like because it's, <laughs> it's, you know, toxic. And then it, it, it literally it started to like bake into the plastic instantly. I was like, perfect. It'll dry fast. Wow. And how, I how, how is this going to wear? How is this going to wear with like, I can already see your space button. Or so that... I, I used it. No, I did that on purpose. That was, I scraped some of the black off. So I get some extra light through it. Wow. But, this is a, um, well, what's the brand of uh, keyboard? Uh, Magic Wings, Magic Wings, Gamer, like it is probably a, <laughs> also an Alex Express. Special. <laughs> yeah, but the... <laughs> that sounds like a Tiger Direct special right there, uh, dude. That's what it was. That's what it was. It was a Tiger Direct, was it really? Okay. Yeah, it really was. You gotta imagine how much product that is like legit that just ends up at these liquidation places. Oh, I've, but so I've I've seen a, some I took a toothbrush to it and years. I made sure you know most of the loose stuff was off and. So you can choose you can choose the colors on your keyboard at like uh at, no, no it only gives me uh, I only get red blue or purple or that phase there's no green at least you, you at least you got creative with a cheap keyboard my daughter did it to one of my hundred hundred fifty dollar Microsoft no. keyboards yeah no yeah well it's after I heard Ray say that I was like hey yeah she's creative too money. and she likes to do this stuff and. Make sure you show her this. I, I threw up a couple of shorts. She's going to love this, and you're going to be angry at me. I apologize in advance. <laughs> you know what else works? Sparkles. Damn it. Why did I say that? Oh, out loud? <laughs> oh you're evil. So I went, I gentlemen, I went with a five millimeter flock, which gave Not me Not okay, hobbies. <laughs> I went with a five, hey, five give millimeter me some, flock. Give me some ideas of what I can do with this thing. <laughs> oh, yes. Look at this. Oh, the media keyboard with a trackball. <clears throat> It has the you, the ball. It has the mouse pad. The so is that IO drink. gear? It is IO gear. Yeah, you got yeah, it. Yeah, you showed us so, that before. I, think. So I, did, I had a, I had an older one that was more square. Yours is the better one. This one yeah, has a, a rounded a low shag on that one. Yeah, this one's got what the heck is this? Oh, it even has. I didn't even notice it has um up top. It has uh, buttons on the side. Oh, page button. That. Is it page buttons up and down? Well, yeah. I haven't tr- honestly. I've plugged this in to try on a laptop that the screen is busted, so I only use it as a media center now. And mm-hmm. I plugged this in, and I'm like, success! Now we've got you know rollerball, mouse, everything included, and I'm loving that's it. Really cool. I like the rollerball. That's that's for sure. Yeah. I so the only when my the only thing with the rollerball media remotes, I hated that. And the and the funniest part is it's actually a ball bearing, a steel ball bearing. Ooh. It's not plastic or anything, so you can see nice heavy weight to it. Yeah, nice. got. I just got to figure out what the rest of these uh, buttons are all for on the side. It looks like you've got the uh, music buttons, uh, yep. volume, all this other extra stuff. Yeah, this is just third party stuff, right? You yeah, guys have known this. Stuff. So those would be your hotkey, dual dual button commands, like Up second top. function kind of ideas. Yeah, yeah, when they do those hotkeys like that, that's usually you can probably configure them to whatever the whatever you want. I wonder how do you do that? How would you configure this thing if you wanted to change it up? Well, I guess you would go into your control panel and then control or panel? your devices settings, and you would find the device in the list, and then you okay. would go from there. It's got yeah. literally every single button you could think of. Everything. It looks. A- it looks. Uh, you said it's one of the older ones. It's one of the newer ones, I guess, because it's rounded, right? It's got the rounded oh, edges. Oh, nice. Nice. No, I, I it doesn't have a year on the back, but it has the model number. Probably could look it up like that. But yeah, it was free. Somebody just threw it out. And I'm just like, um, let me check to see if it's just a battery issue. Pop in two new batteries, plug it in, off you go. And I'm like, why would somebody give this up? But, you know, everything's newer now. You don't need, you know, with the wireless mouse and all that stuff. But yeah, it's perfect for just sitting on the couch and throwing in the media center. Wow, those tires are thick. Yeah. Well, that's wow. how I, uh, that's I still yeah, run one, asphalt with that. 
Oh yeah, you got a wired mouse. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing beats it. old school wired stuff, right? It. I. My wireless ones always fall on the floor and get busted. <laughs> yeah. No point. Yeah. You know, it's funny. No kid this day will know the pain of having to open your mouse clean the ball, get the, <laughs> the dust and the residue off of the edges and scraping off the rollers. Of to clean them up. Did you? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. I still remember you had to scrape the rollers inside because it was mm -hmm. just, all everything was gunked onto it. Yeah. And that ball was what, like a rubber ball or something like that? Like um, rubber uh, covered? Right? Yeah. Um, oh, it was heavy. Man, it was I a heavy little bastard too, right? Or... Yeah, they were a ball bearing with... Uh, with the rubber coating? Rubber coating. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I remember ripping them apart a lot of times. Yeah. <laughs> well, eventually they die on you with a steal the them from like... the high school tech lab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, what a what a world to live in when computers were new, right? Like now everybody's taking them for granted. They don't know how to fix so, them. They don't know how to do anything. So I was born in '83. So so you had it my yeah. when my school got internet. Me and one other buddy in my grade, we were like best friends. We've been best friends for you ever since but we were the ones that taught the teachers <laughs> to do nice and networking and programming and nice. then what we would do is we would change the backgrounds and the fonts and the icons <laughs> and the colors and we changed like south park themes before there was a theme <laughs> before there was a theme we would go into bitmap and we would take the image and cut and paste and do all that shit. and yeah, then yeah. they would be like who did this who did this who do you think did it there's only two guys that could possibly have done it that's awesome. Yeah, like my dad would give me shit for it too. Like uh, I could make it so that when you turned on your computer, it would be like, "Hey, screw you guys, and then <laughs> hey." <laughs> and he was like, "How the hell do you do that?" Oh man, if people just knew how he. Yeah, I still have um, like memories of DOS sitting there with the, you know, looking through your directories, finding files. You know, Dude, I was so everything. happy when I would get like DOS 6.0 yep. and then DOS yeah, 6.1 yeah. you know, and then 6.22. and so yeah, yep. Every upgrade, right? Geeking yep. out. So happy to have them. 100%. I still have a, a DOS 4.0 blue box booklet installation Ooh. and all that. Still kicking around. I'm sure it's still in the, the old computer stuff. I still have floppy That's disks cool. and everything. This is like good luck finding a reader these days for any of that stuff. You get a USB reader. Um, yeah, they have those those uh, standalone ones now, right? But I have no idea. Like even when I opened up this new computer, I have no idea if I could hook up an ISA floppy drive. I probably couldn't. I don't think there's an ISA port. So yeah, I probably ha would have an IDE port. Yeah, I probably mm -hmm. wouldn't have one in there now. It's all. My, I don't know what I had on mine, but I was able to attach. I can't show you because it's like on the face of my my desktop and my camera's POS, but. You know, like these little converters that you can get, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep, that's... So this is just like your USB version that usually wears out. Okay. But I had from an old computer that little docking bay for the front of the computer. So when I started streaming again a couple months ago there, I had three computers in the graveyard. And I took all three and made them into one. And I made sure I put that docking bay in there. Nice. Nice. I was lucky I had one empty port. I don't even know. I was just like, okay, well... All this really needs is power and, and information. So I think it goes here. But boom, it works. Yeah, Do the new ones yeah. are the new ones now just connected by USB? Yeah, everything's like that. Right? Like they, somehow they have a converter. Like, yeah, it's all USB conversion, right? Like, yeah. but I don't like that. Yeah. We have um so in the computer you have a five pin connector. And you'll have like uh, multiple five pin connectors that you can mm -hmm. hook all these daughter boards. The front plate panels, rear plate panels for all your USBs. Mm -hmm. I, I still remember when laptops got rid of the CD-ROM drive. And I was like, no, the death of the CD-ROM. Uh. It's like <laughs> terrible. Yeah, like was... we used to burn CDs all the time and make them, right? Like that's yep. what I was about to say. Yeah. Exactly. The CD, DVD, R. Yeah, yeah, all that stuff. I was like, whatever oh, it is, I still have that beast. It's my old, my old computer, um, but it doesn't, it doesn't plug in with the cables that Rick was. Because my old laptop had a CDR in it, a CD burner, and mm -hmm. I'm just like, I'm like, I'm not gonna throw that thing away. I'll just keep using it. Oh, yeah. so check this out. Oh, that's when good. I, when I built that other set, the stand for it, yeah, raised plate, so the car 
can't Stop. roll off. Won't now do it. it doesn't. Yeah. So now, no Which isn't a big deal. You're going to put it on display, but I kind of appreciate the fact that for the other car, hmm. it could not move. Is it, isn't it funny? Yeah. Hang down or what? That they didn't do that or why? I don't know. Um, they figure it won't move, right? You put that up on a display and it's just going to stay there, right? That thing's impressive. What a beast. Look at this thing. Yeah. And I didn't destroy the box either. So that's cool. Nice. And that bone shaker okay. is unique to that set, Rick, or can you? Get I that think bone so. Uh, uh, so the print, I yeah. think I have elsewhere, but the combination of that print with the print color and the, and the blue wheels, wheels, yeah, I think it white, white wheel hubs. Yeah. On so this one's one. unique to that. So set. it's it right now. It appears to be unique to this. So would a Hot Wheels guy who's like completionist want to have to or gonna have to buy this set for that car? Yeah, or that's the separately. thing. Finding this set used and finding it with that car, you won't. Yeah, I don't think you will. I think it's gonna be very hard. I the, think the secondary market a lot of people exist. breaking the set to get that car. Probably, that that means there should be a lot of those bone shakers. On I for cannot be the, the only guy with a hard on for the bone. Shakers, <laughs> right now, trying to get all the bone shakers. Um, I like the rat rods. I really do. Like, oh, yeah, do they're all good. All those types of cars are awesome. Like any any so vintage, a, right? What's this one? Here's a Proline body I painted up just to show you, like you were saying the one day about Peyton Proline. Hang on a second. So, oh, stupid camera. Like, I can't wait so a new one comes in. There you so go. The guy, the guy that had it before Ooh. me, he filled it with epoxy and then Why? painted it. I don't know, to make it more res resistant or something. Like and rigid? Then, make it more like, yeah. thicker? Yeah. So the first crash I had with it, it looked great when I first got it, but the first crash I had with it, all the yellow broke out from underneath the shelf. So I just started painting pink and green underneath where the empty spots were, and it came out like this nice yeah. 70s do-over. And then, nice. of course, I, I'm a sticker bomber. I can't. I can't <laughs> not. I can't not. You even have a TIE fighter on that. That's awesome. Well, well, I, I love the Stormtrooper Hello Kitty. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> awesome. yeah, I tried to graze by that. That is awesome. But so on the front here where it's orange, what I did was I scratched the orange out and then spray painted the green in behind so it would come through on the plastic. Nice. Yeah. So that's the, yeah, the, the Canada's favorite leaf, the weed. What? Yes, the green <laughs> Canadian the green, leaf. That's right. Leaf. Uh, but yeah, that was just, I just want to show you like, yeah, it's, it's so easy just to paint them because, and like I, like I said, when I crash and a piece of, epoxy come flying out like the size of my hand i'm like what the heck wow that so it was on the grew? inside of the car the inside of yeah the like it was just glued up in here where I, now oh. i have lights and i've back filled it with white but he it was just a chunk that popped out and all the paint came off with it so i was like oh cool i get to paint it again the best part is you actually race that even better oh heck yeah, yeah. Uh, well i I'll show you the car that it came off of because it's in really, really bad condition. That's definitely a holy smokes. Look at this thing. So the, here's the rear bumper. It's not supposed to be uh, bent like that. It's supposed to be attached there. <laughs> wow. So technically this still runs, but where is it? It's okay. It's right here. The, the, the gearing for this thing is so yep. massive. Like the teeth are just so big that I have to up my battery size and I only like running 2S because it's way safer. And 3S is literally like when a 3S battery shorts out, it's a, a stick of dynamite. Holy really? Cow. It'll take out my whole bedroom or my whole living room or whatever, wherever it is. And it's like a smoke bomb at that. So it's, it'll kill you. So Jeez. I won't do 3S. 2S, it'll fizz, it fizzes out and, and it's disgusting and it can like give you a sore throat but it won't kill you. 3S, it can explode like a freaking dynamite. Jeez. So I, I decommissioned this beast because it was too beast for me. And it's also like friggin' three pounds as, a, as opposed to like four pounds. Like, or sorry, five pounds as opposed to three pounds. It's got Damn. a metal chassis and stuff on it. It's just too much, too much. I switched to a, a plastic one, with all the plastic parts, it flies through the air way better. And, and when you actually run it, 
Yeah. yeah. And when you run into people with the plastic ones, they don't like hit the ground crying at least. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Rick, the door opens. Solid. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You didn't go through the, go through the whole car and let's show it off. Let's see. Uh, let's bit. see. You got the doors on both sides. Steering wheel moves up and down too, or is it stuck? Um, well, technically. It it does. Yeah. Looks a little sky worthy in there. That steering wheel. So let's see. Oh, so the steering wheel is even a unique piece. The shifter, yes. Yeah. yeah, they did a good job. Yeah. Oh, it even has a speedometer and everything. Look at that. Yeah, uh, printed three printed uh, plates. Tiles oh, and they got there. the tubules for the nitro or the gas tank or whatever. Yeah, the yeah. hose line in the back. I love that's it. A very nice that place. is awesome. So that's to mimic leather then. Those leather seats that blow. I hate the colors. Is that, that what? cream is horrible. That cream is horrible. <laughs> I hate that. But that's it stands weird. out against the rest of the. Yeah. So it's a thing with red, I believe. Um, it, it came with that with cream arrow as well. Yeah, they yeah. always they always go softer with in the interior with red for some reason. I've just noticed that in myself. The this was that era, right? That era had that color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Dan, did they, is is the skull? Oops, I knocked the shocks off. Which one? The skull on the front. Is that a yeah. new piece? You think? Oh yeah, for sure. No that, set had that before. Yeah. No. No. So that's an oversized version. Do you have the other car handy, the black one? Uh, not quite. No. So yeah, that's definitely a new piece for that set. Yeah, new mold. So there's there was no stickers on this one. Is all print? No, all Mega doesn't do all stickers print. anymore. Yeah, Mega doesn't do stickers anymore. Only the old Halo oh. sets at it. So then and here's my other question. On the box, it kind of looks like. They have print on those eyes of that skull, but on your skull, it's all gray. And yeah, because well, this is it's artwork. Text, well, it's textured. Yeah. Shadows and and print. Yeah. The the artwork on the box is definitely good not good. Good photoshopping. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but but you can modify. Way. You could you could modify that with a nice red or a fluorescent red and have it glow in the dark on you. Well, what I'm thinking, you I'm going to do, do whatever. I'm going to do a positive and negative mold of this. I think because I yeah. I don't necessarily think I want to mess with this so i'll do a You're positive a and negative one? and mess around with a fake one it's pretty Show us the front of that there rick while you got the skull off oh heck yeah oh even the the fingers are on the lights nice. yeah that's yeah what I, was, that's what I, was, yeah. I couldn't see it with the skull the on there that's that's really cool nice <laughs> Rick, you could always you could always uh, put in a request for that extra piece. Just to no, no, I'm an honest guy. Yeah, <laughs> if I got everything, I'm good. I don't. I've never, never abused then, anyone's then, customer then service. Then approach them honestly. And but be like, I've been hey, very happy. Like can I oh, get a couple of extras of those so I can modify them. Well, back in the day, Mega, <laughs> they uh, when I needed like the one leg because they gave me two left legs on. on mm -hmm. the, yeah, they uh, just send you a whole bigger. Right? They send me a whole another figure. Yeah, they don't you do know. parts for figs. Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. But the, I mean, and for another one um, where I needed, I think it was a head or something. And again, whole figure, the figure was worth 25 bucks. And I know people who would have abused it. Like, no, 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 no. I'm happy to, that they hooked me up, you know, 10 years after the fact. Well, now mm -hmm. the people who abused all that, now they'll do is in certain sets. They'll have you send it back in. Uh, they'll yeah. take your old one and send you the new one. So that, that if it's, so it could be, it could be as simple as that. But um, I yeah. would hate oh. to do that. Yeah, no. you're halfway through a build or whatever, and it's like, no, it's okay. You know what? Forget it. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll come up with my own solution. Prefer that little that little display there with the yellow stand. You could probably throw a brick or two underneath the orange. Couldn't you to raise it? Oh, that. Uh, oh, yeah. If I care or would enough, it, would it would stand out. Well, I don't even know if I got an orange tile that I would mess to around to push it up. With. Yeah. Eh. All you it's really need stand, is the stand for the other one had one more uh, plate going sideways, a two by four yeah. tile. And it would hold it there, right? Yeah, it would stop it from going back and forth. So that's an open My roof. desk actually slopes a little bit. <laughs> yeah, away from me. If I put the rolling pieces on, they go away from me. So, which is fine. It's, they've got nowhere to go at that end. My floors in my apartment are like that because this is an old uh, restaurant that was redone into units but this is the original unit above the restaurant okay. but 
you drop a marble at one end of the house, it rolls down to the other end and then back and then settles in the middle, kind of like uh, it's not that extreme here, but it's, you it's something bit. like every every IKEA case I've ever built, you definitely have to like I've got a shim here and a bigger shim there. <laughs> Keep it all and then I bolt them like they're all connected together. It's only yeah. two screws on each one, but it's like so they're all are, level. Are they level? Yeah. No, they are. Yeah, yeah. They're level, yeah, they're square, but only because I had to do some surgery to make that work. So what cars what cars do you have now with Mega? You have that one, you have the purple passion. Uh, you have the other built? hot rod. The Rock built one. Roger, yeah. Bone Shaker, and Purple Passion are built. So there's still the little version of the hot rod open, right? The black well, the one. The premium one, I got the muscle bound still to build. Yeah. And then and there's the other black one. The black one with the flames. Yeah, that one. Right? I can see that in the edge yeah, there. And then a yeah. lot of the smaller five whites. Yeah. There'll um, be a bunch of those. They have a whole... Creator cars. I got the Ghost Rider car. Yeah. A dozen oh, the... Speed Champ sets. That's the Lego Speed uh, Ghost Rider one, right? The Lego one? Lego the Ghost, Ghost Rider? Rider? Is it... It's Lego brand, right? I don't have a Ghost Rider car. Didn't they have a motorcycle set or a... there's a motorcycle set? I'll never buy it. But I swear they had a black Ghost Rider car at some point. Uh, okay, no? yeah, there there is. Uh, I think yeah. It looks, looks like trash. I Does it? Know. It's the in the small. same scale as the Speed Champs. There's a Batman car too. I think that's in the same scale. I've thought about getting that small one, right? But uh, I don't know. I might want to get the fifty dollar tumbler. I kind of like it. I haven't decided yet. I'm oh, yeah, that, in the, need of more the, sets or more cars. The Ghost Rider set was the Ghost Rider versus Carnage, the little black Camaro. Oh, well, so yeah, I, I'm looking for it. I thought I had it. Yeah, it's that 76173. It was. It looked decent. It's obviously the smaller, like four wide. Yeah, five, it's like a six wide, whatever it is. It's a stunt uh, motorcycle, I think, isn't it? No, in this set, it has. Oh, um, where'd it go? Uh, it's got Ghost Rider, Spider Man, Carnage, a whack load of clear um, fire pieces, and then the uh, six wide black Camaro. I think it'd be six wide because the windshield's four, and then you've got one on each side, so it's six wide. Does that sound about right, Rick? Yeah, six wide. Yeah, well, um, I can't remember now, I'd have to see a photo. <laughs> I don't want to say it is and sound like a doofus. Yeah, from the picture, it just looks like it is. Because those windshields are typically four wide. Um, I don't see anything else here that would indicate it. It just looks too thin. Yeah, because even the roof is four studs on the roof. So mm. then you only got one on each side. Um, that's tiny car. Yeah. What other ones did they have? I can't remember that one. But yeah, so what are you going to build on the weekend for... Saturday and Sunday. Well, I'll build something else later tonight, probably. Another oh. car? A Speed Champs. Speed Champs car? Yes. Yeah, Ferrari? Ferrari or the... Uh, well, whatever's the lowest car number. Cars. Whatever is probably like 7690, I'm guessing 100. I'll just look at my phone app and see what the lowest number one is. Because I got a lot of Speed Champs here. This is like all Speed Champs. I've only got the one speed chance, actually. Is it? Yeah, it's just it's in here. It's the McFlair, Mc, McLaren. The Mc, is that the green one? No. No. The uh, orange. Uh, blue. The blue. Oh. Yeah. Let's see. So are all the speed champ sets two that you no. have? Oh, God, you're, you're no. You're just single no. ones, don't you? Yeah. But so I got Mercedes. that. Mercedes. That's such a nice one. Wow. So that's the F1 yeah. and the race car. That's the Corvette ones. Oh, that looks nice. The McLaren. I know. I don't. I don't really like the speed champ. Somebody got this for me. Uh, I think it was last year for my birthday. That's a nice one. That that's yeah. That's nine oh two. I might might even do that one first. This is one of the bigger ones. I like that Ooh, one. I like that one. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go in the. Uh... Yeah, I want that one. I, Actually, I just want the Bronco to be honest. It looks really cool that rally Bronco. It turned out, it turned out I'm good. missing two sets right now, and I might order one today. <laughs> <laughs> I 
because I got my discount kicking in. So that's the one that that's you're McLaren. showing off. Yeah, the McLaren. Yeah, yeah that, that's that. That's that one there. There's... So do they all? Oh, that's nice. Do they all come with multiple figures? No. Uh, the two cars would, I guess, right? Do the single cars just come with the doubles? one? Only the double packs? Okay. Yeah. yeah I think it's just the double packs. The driver for a driver for right? I thought for a second mine came with an extra, but then I realized she, it might be from a different set. It looks like uh, the female Batgirl or something. Yeah. This is the speed champs that made me want to even bother. Wow. My favorite car of all time. I used to really like those growing up. I had like a yeah. dozen dinky cars of that, but like every color you can imagine. See, what's good is that the design actually allows Lego to make it look good, right? Like if you look at how it turned out, that really close to reality for most of those guys too. Mm -hmm. See, I don't know if it's just me, but that, what is it? The Ferrari looks more proportioned. The than, red one? Than this. Yeah, it depends on the car, right? Yeah. I don't I don't feel that that's proportionate. No. That car should be way bigger compared to the I figure. feel like if I laid down next to a car, I wouldn't be <laughs> one fifth of its size. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird to me. I don't that's why I don't like but that's where it. that's where scale in all these sets is thrown out the window, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like that that's the bone shaker, that there's no figure that would fit that scale, right? Any of the mega for, figures or two and a half three inches whatever too small for his see I, we were thinking the gi joe maybe like uh, might yeah yeah um Good. three and a half inch figure i think because there's actually room That's for legs i see that for the feet and the past you know what you might actually rick the star wars mission figures are about three inch i think Do they, have bending knees? Like, they don't have the bend, you know they don't Can't have a bending knee yeah, I know you have to. Mm -hmm. yeah. That or I've got to get creative with it and break their knees. <laughs> well, no, I can take a hot wire cutter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And cut grooves into it and put Some people are really good screw. at doing that. Yeah, no, some people are really good at making figures. Bending well, I've knees, destroyed more than one or two figures yeah. over the years getting and making my own. So there's a couple really yeah. good ways, depending on the plastic. If it's like a rubber, you can't just melt it and hold it because it just boils. So what you want to oh, do yeah. is what Rick said. You're going to want to cut a wedge out where you want your bend, and then you bend it. And then you, you, bend it. A, you either put it in a splint or you get some super glue or something like that to hold it. That works just yeah. fine. Yeah. All right. I, I'm going to shut this down. I want to go eat something. Yeah. So what you need and, to find uh, is like a 1929 like pickup truck. Uh, well, that's the thing. You know, with these things, I'm ho hoping they're seeing good sales on them, like that there's good feedback on them. Those who build them, they seem to love them. So I'm hoping yeah. they start giving us more trucks. And Well, the stuff. smaller set, the ones that you were saying that were, was it five wide or six wide or whatever? The yeah. Mega Pedo, they have a whole new set coming out, the new wave. Um, it's on the back of one of the boxes. I don't, have. I won't, I doubt. Mm -hmm. I'm but nothing classic. Many. Yeah, there's it nothing matter. I don't think I'll be picking up the small scale mega stuff. Wait, how many scales of the bone crushers do you have now? You have like from uh, Hot Wheels four, all the way up? Three or four. Yeah, how many yeah. Sc different scales? Like you have the, the Hot Wheels scale. So, yep. Then I have the, the five wide. I have the five wide. I have this, which is the premium. Then I have the mo a monster truck one, the black one I built. Um,. And I'll show so you on, new, on my next new bricks this week. I'll show you another one. <laughs> Is there not one that's in between like uh, Hot Wheels size and that size? The well, yeah, one. yeah, yeah. It's the five wide. Um, oh, okay, the five. So wide. There's two of them. I've got a red one and a yellow one to build. Yeah, there's two. Yeah, that would be cool to see the scale Three? lined up. That'd be nice. Yeah, it'll happen. It's just at the rate I'm going. It'll probably be a month before I get. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it would be a month to build them all, and like we're month yeah, in. Well, I mean that chess set when that came in, that kind of derailed everything. Mm -hmm. But um, I have no more review sets anytime soon, as far as I know. Where is Actually, your chess a set? Lie. Um, the board's behind me on the floor. The yeah. pieces are behind this. Oh yeah. Tomorrow there. I will probably film what I need to film. Actually, so they got back to me, and yeah. uh, let's see. I couldn't find a link for that. To purchase it anywhere, I could find their Facebook. I can figure out how to. Do I, I thought I have a direct link in my uh, description, don't I? 
did I the videos? It didn't take me to where I wanted to go. Oh, no? <laughs> no. I could probably find one for you. I think it's just they, like the, their Facebook page. Oh, do they email there, you? A link, I, I can't remember where the other link took me. But it could have been could have been an online store or something. Um, hi, Richard. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Wishing you lots of fun and excitement and a super fantastic year to come. And I've sent you a little gift for the holiday. Hope you Whoa. would like it. So I don't know what they're sending. So oh, another set of some sort. And like the chess set that they sent is double the size of what they were going to send me before. So I, I can't even imagine what's next. So. But I'll get my review out beforehand so that no one can suggest I am being biased. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. I can't lie about what's happened. And the fact that I didn't get, you know, 400 plus pieces and that it was folded like trash. And that does not go favorably for anybody. Well, it must have been a packing issue when they packed the secondary box but, to mm, forget the bags. To forget it, yeah. But right? that's the thing. When you're sitting there and the, you, you're taking everything out. Hey, and I've been buying this Chinese stuff for years. So I understand trash the original box to get in something smaller. I get it. Yeah. Especially when I look at the Dragon bo uh, dragon Blocks and the Sluban where the box is this big and the set is like a poly bag size. It's ridiculous. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, but it begs the question, was it the shipper that did the problem or did it was it the company that did the problem i don't really right? care the fact Isn't they that... did it to me and they did it to the other english reviewer on the internet ah there's somebody else had the same problem <laughs> his box is folded all the same way there yeah. you go so yeah but that's all that's what they care for is saving money on the shipping right that's their thing well hey you know they're sending it up for free they didn't make any money from me yeah. And now it's the, you know debatable if they're going to get if it's even worth their trouble because well I have to make a review and all my content's out there I'm not deleting what I've done episode well, five easy. or six is where you know I had to stop and I started counting the parts online and circling the pages <laughs> in the instruction <laughs> manual don't have this don't have and it got to a point I'm five minutes in oh I'm not going to so do this for the next so hour. do you do you separate the different parts of the product review like here's your product review and here's your uh, what do you call it logistics review. No, 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 no. It's my experience. This yeah. is my experience. So no. they did. They did come through for you on very. Oh short no, they notice. did, and they oh. got to me relatively quick, as as quick as I can expect, anyway, from yeah. where it was coming from in the world. <laughs> um, so yeah, actually, it's funny. I mean, what our local couriers did just made things worse by sending it two blocks away from me to my neighbor. Thank God, my phone number was on it. And normally I would not call any number, you know, that I don't know. And it's like a New Jersey number. Had she not left a message on my phone, I would never yeah. have called it. Yeah. yeah. And I would never I, have gotten those was parts. The, was the address that far off that they no. freaked it out? My apartment number, they took that number and they delivered it to that number on my street. Oh. Two blocks away from me. Because they on. do it differently. What? How did your address? How do you normally write your address? It's your street address and then unit number, right? Yeah. Or do they do dash? No, no, no that's like what it is. Number no, no. dash then the apartment number. Well, that's that's what the uh, courier did, right? Yeah. So the courier. That, that's what the forwarder out. did. And yeah. but regardless, it's like, guys, what are you looking at here? You know. Yeah. Because that's the different standard in Europe, too, where they'll put the unit number, dash, and then the street name number. Because you got to remember that the guys deliver it are a local courier. Your I know. He's local yeah. to, is to the GTA, and it's like, you dummies. Yeah. And that's mm -hmm. the second one they've screwed up. I'll tell uh, you what. You... <laughs> your your local courier went on holidays, and uh, someone had to sub in. It's not from this area. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. There, there was a, well, it's just like <laughs> FedEx, right? Hey, my last FedEx shipment was a subcontractor it was not a fedex driver it was not a fedex truck it was a subcontractor oh. yeah so white a white van and and his there. obligation wasn't even get a signature he was taking a picture of it in the uh lobby it's like you son of a yeah how many hundreds of dollars in that box it's like you were gonna leave it there weren't you you bugger you, so that, that one you that caught right away you caught that one right away how did um it? actually they did call so okay. I ran down to grab it. So, we have a pure later guy. He was doing his, he was gonna leave it anyway. Yeah, he was just gonna leave it. No, I delivered it. Anyway. Yeah, you know. But we have a pure later guy that drops off, and uh he, we know him well because the person that lives under me, they they do uh that sensi. Oh. They sell okay. sensi. 
So yeah. he's here like every other day dropping off like stupid boxes full of smelly crap. Wow. So we're in town shopping or something like that. He'll like stop us and wave when he's doing his rounds in town. And he'll be like, just wait a second. You, you got time? Let me just check my truck for you. That way I don't have to make the trip out to the rural route area today. Nice. And he'll give me my packages right there. All I have to do is sign, you know, and say that it's legit that I, that I received them. That's great. That is an awesome build. That's got to go on your display. Yeah, no, right. that's, it's got a nice spot. And I tell you, it's filling out nicely. The shelf with the cars is looking good. All right. Take it easy, guys. I'll catch you later. Take care. Yeah, right. See you. Next time.